Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously. Create dozens of quick lists. Display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Good afternoon everyone, welcome to the Swing Trading Show. Wednesday, July 6th, 2016. The market started on the downside this morning and uh, at this point right now it's going up a half a percent on the Nasdaq market and a little bit less uh, by uh, uh, just 1.16% uh, uh, on the Dow. And uh, I mean, uh, it, it's pretty hard to know where, where, where this market is going to go. Um, until this morning, it was just following the normal correction from its overbought situation. And uh, we just could not really explain the reason why the market came back up. It's going down everywhere else. Uh, first of all, on the uh, Nikkei market, uh, uh, for the year, for the last month, for the last few days, everything is going down. Same thing on the Hang Seng. Don't get, so, uh, you know, it, it, in Asia, it's bearish everywhere. And on the London market, it was still a correction. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's only the uh, Nasdaq market and uh, the Dow Jones and uh, and and the spy, you know. So so the market is hesitating of, uh, of doing more correction. Uh, we we don't really know because you know there are not many information on the market right now. No one is talking about anything. Uh, the only uh, things we got this morning is this that, that the British pound has made a a a, a, a thirty two years. Uh, uh, low, so uh, and 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 you know it's not really changing anything. It's just it's just a little bit more than yesterday, and uh, so uh, the, there is no uh, major uh, news. A couple that are interesting, as uh, Centra Gold has bought Thompson Creek, and uh, and a, a couple of other uh, news here. Let's go on it. And uh, it was the earnings this morning of Walgreens. It, it went uh, uh, from 114 to 118. And uh, despite that, the stock uh, goes down anyway. So uh, Terra Technology was expecting two cents. They got one cents, uh, minus one cents. And, uh, and the stock broke down on the, on, 
on, on, uh, on this report. And uh, 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 Globe Immune uh, will uh, uh, withdraw all of its uh, common share from the NASDAQ exchange. That's the reason why it's falling. And uh, Medivation has refused the offer from uh, Sanofi. And uh, they have concluded an agreement with them that, and other parties that they are going to uh, 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 other anonymous parties and uh, to come up to, a, to an agreement. But they just don't want to talk about it. That's all. And, and this is it. And uh, as I said, Centra Gold is going down because it's buying Thompson Creek, which was already going up for two days. And uh, Bomber, the, the federal government said uh, uh, that uh, it will take until fall, uh, until they have a final agreement uh, to help uh, Bombardier. And uh, there was uh, Electrovaya breaking out this morning. The stock looks nice and uh, the trend is good. And uh, it's a strong movement. It's, uh, there's volumes on it and everything. And the Trovaya has announced that one of her subsidiary uh, company uh, has signed a protocol uh, with a major player of the industry in the e-mobility for to deliver some uh, battery module uh, starting in 2017. And BlackBerry decided not to produce anymore is smart phone called the classic and uh, two years after they launched it and this is it so um, uh, uh, since the crude oil has reached the triple bottom this morning it bounced back it's now uh, uh, oversold so it it it, it, sh it could bounce back until 12 bucks over the next uh, few days and the gas also has a uh, uh, felt uh, and uh, to erase uh, all of the last bullish cycle but the the, uh, the the thing is is that the crude oil is down there on the support while the stocks are at the resistance instead of being here so it's probably because the market don't think the, the crude oil is going to go uh, lower And um, for the gold, the gold keeps going up, uh, and uh, but uh, you know it, it, it seems to be uh, slowing down though right now. So let's see, um, let's see if a five-minute chart on it. And uh, so it went up this morning and make a made a couple of attempts to go higher, and now it's just like uh, straight flat. But it's going up since three days, as the stock are going up for three days. So I don't think it's the time to buy the stocks that have that the movement started three days ago. So it's too late to buy. And uh, but it, but but it, it, they're doing well. So if you have securized all of your position there, I would just recommend to hold on uh, to uh, this uh, situation. And uh, and and I and I think the selling point would be. Uh, uh, at the crossing of the uptrend and the previous support and in many cases it is yesterday's afternoon price so uh, so in this uh, kind like uh, Yamana here uh, the exit price would be 1235 uh, uh, not 1235 what do I say what do I say uh, it's no it's 735 sorry and uh, the mining are, uh, have, uh, are showing a little slowdown also uh, without doing anything bad. I mean, uh, we're, we're just in between two things, you know, I mean, uh, uh, the market should have done more correction and it's just not happening. So there's no buy signal, and, uh, but there's no sell signal either. So uh, it's a pretty calm uh, uh, situation right now, uh, not, during the in, uh, not in intraday because there has been a lot of movement this morning for the day trading. Uh, let me show you that right here on the NASDAQ market since uh, look at those cycles this morning actually they, they did not go the, in the direction we, ex we were expecting but they are there and uh, as uh, there could be another one uh, 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 coming up soon uh, whether uh, on, on the upside or on the downside but 
uh, the, 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 the market is still uh, quite uh, volatile and in most cases right now it's pretty difficult to see what's going to happen. Look, the, 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 the uh, sectors on, in Toronto, most of the sector failed and felt this morning and until they started coming back up. So it is only vo uh, some volatility and that's all. And uh, there's not much we can do about that in swing trading because the situation is not clear at all. If you look for instance on the uh, uh, staple uh, sector, it's right in between the two. There is no direction at all on, on the movement. Uh, in the financial, it, it is going down. So it is a downtrend, but it's not strong. There's a big support not far from there. So we cannot short it, we cannot buy it, and we just cannot do anything right now. And uh, at this phase there on the industrial, with that big of resistance, there's no way we should buy that, that unless uh, or sell unless it, it, it breaks this uh, three months old formation and it's the case in 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 in, in, in most of the sector even uh, the technology which is going down right now but uh, with this support right there and with the oversold situation it should bounce back so um let's see with a uh, couple of questions here oh the first question is just a very short, uh, just hi, Michel. So we'll go to the second. Uh, bought uh, uh, REI dot UN at twenty eight oh nine. Okay, it seems like uh, it's. Oh, that's my fault. Oh, there we go and you bought it at 28.09 and you sold half at 29.13 it has now reached all-time resistance of last year well do you think of the idea of selling remaining half uh, uh, right away to avoid risk of coming back to price paid no I, I think uh, you should uh, keep it because uh, it was an important breakout that you've seen here and the trend is still very very nice I'll be back Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the uh, the question from Bear here uh, that bought uh, REI.UN at 2809, sold half 2913. So uh, 2809 is somewhere around here, uh, somewhere. And uh, but you sold half of the position at uh, more than a dollar of profit. But now you're in, you're two dollars in in profit. And you say, why selling it all now? Because uh, it's, it, it's really a nice trend and it's an uptrend and, and uh, it has broken a, a, a very um, a significant resistance here. And if you look at the a, a 10 minutes chart over the last six, seven days, you see that the, the angle of the trend is very nice. And uh, we still had a lot of volume here this morning 
and now it, it's going sideways and uh, there's no sign of, of coming back down because the volume is very, it remains very low. Uh, so, um, you know, I, I wouldn't exit that at all. So the, the thing is, where can you s set the point, okay? So the question wasn't even from today. I think it was from yesterday or so, uh, or, 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 or I don't know when. And, uh, but right now, you know, depending how many you have, uh, you could sell some like, um, oh, you know, 28, 2809 uh, is, is, uh, is, is about uh, here, <laughs> right down here at the bottom. So you're so far away, I don't think you have any risk of losing it all. So uh, I would put a stop loss, uh, like, let's say, like uh, just, un just behind, just under the last support, you know. So since it's going up here, uh, should we put it so close here? Uh, you know, why you, you sold the first half 29.13, and now uh, let's say the clear sell signal would be 29.50. So uh, it would be it will still be higher, but uh, I would take the risk of leave it leave it go higher since uh, the trend is very nice, or sell half of what you have left under 30 and the other half under 29.50. And if the stock is to produce higher support, you will go from these support. So split the, the, the last part in two and sell it uh, half, uh, sell half of it uh, every time the stock breaks its support. And that's all, then you're on the trend. Uh, SBB long 1000 share, 138. SB, uh, SBB, is that Canadian? Yeah, Sabina Gold. Um, 10,000 share, 138, and it's now 140. And it's at, um, uh, the, the, it seems to be um, quite towards uh, the end. Okay, let's put it here. I just wanna, I just wanna make sure, because this is on a silver stock, you know, your stock is about here and, and the silver is right on top there. So the stock is not really um, overperforming uh, the, um, do, do I, I don't have it on that list. So, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about that one because if the, if 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 the, the the silver start doing a correction, so uh, what's gonna happen to to your stock, uh, which is not on making new high as the silver is doing? So it would come down very very fast, and then you would not be in the money. So, uh, um, uh, <laughs> man. I mean, uh, you, you may have lost a good opportunity to reduce the position because, you know, first, second, third days in a row that the stock goes up. So this stock could, could turn out being a loss very, very, very soon because it's underperforming this, uh, the, uh, the index itself and, and, and the silver itself. So, um, you know, uh, I hate saying that, but... Uh, I would call it a, a, personally, I would call it a bad, sh bad shot. I would be wary. And I think you can exit this position kif kif like. Okay, and 30 seconds. Uh, uh, hi, Tony. And uh, thank you for loving the show. And, uh, and Tony, again, can you analyze Microsoft? So I'm going to do it before I leave MSFT. And, uh, oh, Microsoft is pretty calm. You know, there's not much we can do about it. Uh, it's very slow-mo, and it seems like it's going to stay like that for, for a long, uh, for, for still a, a while, I guess. The next selling signal would be at 47.50. And when to buy that stock? I think it's going to take months and months until it gets, it, it becomes nice again to buy you know so uh, technically wise so a uh, pretty boring stuff right now on, on Microsoft thank you very much uh, Tony thank you very much everyone we'll see you next time have a great day mm -hmm.